Hello everyone, my name is Vishal Jhaya. I am lecturer in Mechanical Engineering Department in Atmi Institute of Technology and Science for Diploma Studies. Institute is affiliated with GTU. In this lecture, I am going to discuss with you what is industrial engineering and what are the objectives of industrial engineering. So first, we are going to define the industrial engineering. There is two terms, industry and engineering. So industrial engineering means to organize, coordinate and integrate the resources and activities to provide human needs at minimum cost. So function of industry and engineering is to organize, coordinate and integrate the, all the resources in the industries and all the activities in the industry. It is done with the minimum cost. So, we can define industrial engineering in a different way that uh, it is the branch of engineering in which we are going to reduce production cost, increase the efficiency, improving the quality of product and services. Also, we ensure the health and safety of worker and protect the environment and it is done with the complying with government regulation okay so this is another definition of industrial engineering to understand industrial engineering we have to consider few techniques that is uh, studied inside the industrial engineering so we will study different techniques to ensure the improvement of the resources, quality of product and service and also to ensure health and safety of worker and, and that's why we are going to improve the overall efficiency of the production system. To improve the efficiency of production system we will study different techniques like method study, work measurement, micro motion study plant layout and material handling, job evaluation and wage incentives, statistical quality control, standard cost engineering and quality assurance engineering. These all techniques involves to improve the production rate and to improve the quality of the product. To understand industrial engineering, we need to understand production system. In any production system, there is input, output and certain production process or manufacturing process. Input like man, material, machine, money, energy is known as input and output is a product or service. So there is two type of industry, production industry and service industry. Suppose an industry produce a bearing or a gear that is known as production industry. And if an industry does not produce any product but provide only service to the customer is known as service industry like restaurant, hospital, school, college, service center of automobile vehicles that is known as service industry. So any production system have output in the form of goods or in the form of service. And to produce any good or service, we utilize some facility, plant and facility and perform certain production process or manufacturing process like casting, forging or any kind of machining process. So that, that is production system. And objective of study this subject, we need to understand that industrial engineering is studied to improve the productivity or profit of the industry. So only objective of industrial engineering is to improve the productivity or profit of the industry. So productivity implies more efficient use of resources, resources like man, material, machine, money, energy that we are going to utilize to produce any product or service. So productivity means we are going to design a system in a such a way that it will utilize the resources in more
more effective way. Also productivity implies less wastage per unit in food supply. So there is two kind of wastage in industry, wastage of material and wastage of time. So we will study certain technique of industrial engineering in which we are going to reduce wastage of material and wastage of time. Also productivity implies higher level of output for same input supply. So we are not going to invest very much to improve production system. We are we use same input supply and it means we are going to use same resources but we will utilize that resources in a such a way that our output will be improved means our production rate will be improved and quality of product will be improved so that is all with this lecture for any kind of question you can type in comment box thank you